Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for believing it's a bad idea for my boyfriend to buy a new car? I'm 24, and my boyfriend, 24. We have been dating for a little under a year. We've definitely had our problems, but overall, we are both committed to being together long term, God willing. He has a dream car, which isn't necessarily a super expensive car, but it's more than he can afford at the moment, even if he trades his current car in. He would most definitely have to make payments and have higher insurance as well. I'm not the financial police by any means, but it is concerning to me for a few reasons. First, he still lives with his parents. I'm not knocking that at all because it's actually really smart to stay there as long as you can, while you save up and make plans for the future. But he wants to move out soon, and we have even had discussions about getting a place together once my lease is up in January. However, if he wants to have a place, with me or without me, in the near future, I don't necessarily think adding more expenses to your life is a great idea when you haven't had to pay rent a day in your life, and should be saving to move out, even if it's just to have a safety net. He does have a pretty good job at the moment, but he's desperately trying to find another. He's getting fed up with his hours and the workload that's being put on him, which is completely understandable. I've encouraged him not to walk away until he has something else secure, just so he isn't without a job slash income. I personally have been on the job hunt, and I know how hard opportunities are to come by, assuming you get something equal to or better than what you're currently doing. If anything does happen where he chooses to walk away, having those expenses for the car also wouldn't be a great scenario for him financially, and God forbid it happens at a time when you have rent slash living expenses beyond what he has now. He also has student debt, don't we all? that he hasn't really made a dent in. I understand you have quite a while to pay that back, but to me personally, it would make more sense to start chipping away at that before making another purchase that will require you to make more payments beyond the ones you're already supposed to be making and neglecting. Furthermore, he likes to spend more money on clothes and shopping than I do. He's always buying new things to wear and does so rather impulsively. He is super hardworking and overall a good partner, so I want him to treat himself and enjoy the fruits of his labor. I do think it's reasonable to set a budget for that, and make sure it's something you can actually afford. If wearing new clothes makes him feel good and acts as some kind of reward, I want that for him a million times over and hope one day I can buy him all the clothes in the world. But right now, with everything else, it's not the best choice. We are also trying to get individual therapy to work on your communication and unresolved issues from our past. He's been delaying the process because he's trying to do it through work, so it's free, and he doesn't have to pay for it out of pocket. It's been like a month, and he hasn't found anything through work, so I've suggested looking outside of that and paying for it himself, but he doesn't seem to want to do that, also understandable. I know that as his girlfriend, I am not responsible for or in any position to monitor or have any say in his finances, and that truly isn't my goal in the slightest. However, after being with him for a while and understanding his habits and finances a bit better, I don't think it's a good idea to take on a new expense. I haven't voiced any of these concerns to him because I don't think it's my place. But having goals to move out, being unsure about your job status, having other debt that needs attention, having less than desirable shopping habits, and putting off therapy because you aren't willing to pay for it, all of those things combined just paint a picture for not buying slash upgrading to a new car a bad and irresponsible decision. If any of these things were independent, I wouldn't have any concerns at all about him treating himself with clothes or a new car, or being uncertain about his job, or not paying loans back, not being willing to pay out of pocket for therapy, or not saving to move out, even if there were just a few of these things simultaneously it wouldn't be a big deal. But all combined? It's just too much. I really am not trying to control him at all, and I don't want his finances to improve for my personal gain either. I can take care of myself and I don't need him to take care of me in that way. Just take care of himself so that when we do come together as a unit, there isn't a huge disparity. But I don't see how all of those things can exist at once and leave room for good decisions or financial stability, which is important. Even if you aren't super wealthy or living in poverty, good decisions with your money determine a lot in your life. I also don't know how I feel about looking to pursue a long-term relationship with someone who isn't on top of their finances. It's one thing to have debts and bills, most do. But refusing to pay for certain things while you spend money on materialistic things, 
and then adding more payments or debt on top of what is already unmanaged just seems insane to me. I genuinely want him to have his dream car, the most amazing closet filled with clothes he loves, I want him to have a job he loves and treats him well I want the absolute best for him. And I think that if you do what you're supposed to do for a while, financially speaking, you can get to a point one day where you can enjoy all of those things guilt-free because everything is being taken care of. There are plenty of things I want slash need that I choose to go without because it will mean something else can't get taken care of, but I'm 100% confident that one day I will be able to reap the harvest of the choices I'm making now and be able to do and buy the things I want. I'm not saying no one should ever splurge and only spend money on necessities, that would be a sufferable existence, but doing so within reason is possible. I know that we only live once, and we should make the most of our one go at life, which would involve doing and buying things we like because we can't take our money with us. I do think there is a good balance between spending money on leisure and necessities, a balance that can be attained through a proper budget and helpful habits. But he's looking for something better because he's frustrated with his current job. I've advised him to hang tight until he lands something new, so he's not left without an income. If he quits before finding another job, piling on the cost of a new car could make things even tougher, especially with rent and other living expenses on the horizon. He also has student loans he hasn't really started tackling yet. It seems like it'd make more sense to chip away at that debt before adding another financial burden with a new car. On top of that, he tends to spend impulsively on clothes which I get, it's his way of treating himself. But with everything else going on, now doesn't feel like the right time for extra spending. We're also trying to work on our relationship and communication issues, and he's been putting off therapy because he wants to find a free option through work. It's been a month and nothing's materialized, so I suggested paying out of pocket, but he's reluctant. I genuinely want the best for him, and I don't want to control his decisions. But with everything going on, his job uncertainty, student debt, impulsive spending, and skipping therapy, it just feels like adding a new car is too much. I want him to be financially stable and make smart choices so we can build a future together without these financial strains. Obviously, our opinions and financial goals differ, which isn't my main concern. It's just a curiosity about whether or not I'm wrong for thinking he could be doing things differently for himself and wanting better for the person I love and how to communicate that without coming across as controlling. Update. Literally a few hours after I posted this, he called me that he got the car. He didn't even tell me he was planning on getting it, he just went and did it. I'm not paying for it, so I don't care that he didn't involve me, but that's kind of something you share with your partner. I share every decision with him, even if it's just what to wear or eat that day. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.